uh, today we're going to be seeing uh, how to um, fuse uh, plastic bags using the iron just the same way as we did before with um, with the materials uh, but today we're going to be uh, fusing uh, the materials into like a, a wallet with uh, pockets uh, or and a little pouch um, this is for uh, literally anyone that has already made the material uh, on their own or also uh, for the people that um, have uh, access to my plastic um, bag upcycling kit with this kit you will uh, get uh, the plastic sheets already made uh, the patterns and a little string and a little button which you, you will see in a minute and I'm gonna show you uh, with following the instructions that are also inside the, the kit um, so you can uh, make your pouch and make your wallet and understand a little bit how the material works so I hope you enjoy it and if you like this video please hit subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up button and uh, yeah let's get into action so in the upcycling kit um, you will find so for that so you will find two pieces of materials. Normally it's one that is decorated and one that is just a plain color. Um, you will also find a pattern for your pouch, which is just a piece of uh, paper with some markings so you can uh, guide and cut the pattern. And also two patterns or three, um, sorry, for, for the wallet. And you also um, uh, get some baking paper. You also get a little bit of a string and you get a little button like this that is got a little hole in the middle so you can use the button uh, to you can roll the string to close your pouch so uh, for the pouch we uh, all we need is our baking paper and you can just pick um, the material that you want so I want to make my pouch maybe uh, green uh, so I'm just going to grab my pattern uh, of my patch and I'm going to place it on top of the area that I like the most uh, of the material so I want that this sort of writing kind of goes inside then first of all I want to trace um, the pattern uh, from the cardboard using a pen uh, first I'm going to trace it so I'm just going to just roughly draw a line you can also just uh, cut directly onto the plastic but it's a uh, is that if you're a kid, it's probably safer that uh, you do it with scissors. Make sure you, you do this with the supervision of an adult. If you are under 13 years old, um, but yeah, it's just, it's really easy. So you can roughly see the line and what we're going to do now is just cut that line with our scissors. It doesn't have to be super perfect. And then we're going to put these bits aside because we're going to use them for later. Now you have the perfect sheet that is the size of your pattern and in the pattern you're going to see these lines here that are going to uh, show you where you need to fold the pattern. So then you know that it's exactly the right size. It doesn't have to be perfect either but basically once you have, once you have your center marking then that's pretty much all you need because then the rest is just one centimeter in And you just fold it and press it with your fingers and it should stay there and then we're gonna close it and then also mark our top so but we're gonna fold this two centimeters so following the guides on your pattern You can also use the pen or maybe like a, a lighter or something hard that is, is good, or like a round edge, sorry. So you can press on the folds. But basically that's how the pattern is going to look, how the patch is going to look like. So all we have to do now is just grab our baking paper and we have our iron on. Um, cotton setting or um, between cotton and linen setting. So first of all, we want to fuse this edge and this edge and just make sure that definitely that's the side that you want outside on your pouch so that you f fuse them inside in. So I'm going to fold it in and then I'm going to grab my baking paper 
and put it on top. I like this baking paper, paper because you can see uh, very well what you're doing. Um, but obviously, if you're if you have a white table and you're dealing, for example, with white um, plastic, it's going to be really hard to see the line. So I recommend to maybe have a black sheet of paper or vice versa if the color is different. So then you're going to grab your iron, and what we want to do is fuse that edge into one single layer and just press with the edge of the iron and use the long side of the iron to press. Obviously it's not straight so you want to calculate about a centimeter and make sure it's very well bonded. You can also have a tea towel handy to press on, on the seam and then lift it. So it's now bonded but and it gives it that really nice sort of edge where you have pressed but if you want to make sure that it's really well bonded there is some areas that on the other side haven't uh, bonded really well so you want to make sure you press the other side too but just slightly not too much remember that every time you press the material the material is going to shrink a little bit especially on HDP this is LDP so it's not so much of a problem but it still it does shrink so you don't want to be doing it too much otherwise it shrinks and then that's our first edge folded that's from the bottom of the pouch and then we're going to do the one on the top which is two centimeters so, so again we're going to put the paper over and we're going to fuse Because there is quite a lot of layers, you can go quite slow. Uh, so then you give time for the heat to actually bond the, the plastic layers together. And make sure you flatten it. And we also make sure we do it on the other side. Make sure the outside is a nice and neat edge because it's the side that's gonna show. So I keep about two centimeters. So what is left now, now we got our top edge fused, our bottom edge fused and what is left is to basically close the patch and seal two edges on the side. So again, you're going to press your patch, make sure it's all lined up with the markings and the foldings that you've done, have your material, but in this case we can um, press like this but we have to make sure that in the areas where we have already folded it's going to be double the layers of the material obviously so it's going to be much thicker so you want to make sure you put more pressure and, and stay a little bit longer over that side so it will it bonds perfectly it's perfectly if I go over and I can just literally hover and press over that area with about a centimeter seam you can do it a little bit smaller if you want but I like to trim my patches later, so they look a little bit thinner and nicer. Here you have your tea towel. So now we have partially one of the edges fused, so we can go ahead and do the other side. And remember emphasizing on this side that has more, that has been folded, so it has more layers. And there you go. That's the main cavity of your pouch. So now you can make sure that you do it on the other side so it looks nice and neat and you can even go all around so you can create a, a nice edge. And then after we can trim it. And I'm just gonna... make sure don't do it on the bottom side because then you lose a bit of space in your in your patch if you fuse that 
So there you go, that's your pouch pretty much finished. Sometimes the paper can stick, but that's to totally fine because you can just put a bit of water and, and clean it. And then the last step is to uh, put a little button. So we're gonna have a little button that's gonna come uh, in the middle. Uh, and to mark the middle, you can fold the pouch in half and just pinch it so then you know where the middle is. You can grab your pen and that's your middle and about to, where the line ends of your top folding you're going to pierce a hole with the pen. Make sure the hole is not too big and you're gonna pass the little string uh, through the little hole. Once your string is through um, the material all we have to do is uh, grab the button and actually pass the string through the the button as well and then we're going to make a little knot so then the button cannot uh, go through the string and then all we need to do is just pull our button towards um, the patch so if you want you can secure uh, your string with another knot on the bottom and then just make sure it's really it's pressed right against the material so then the button is not loose at all and that's basically where it's going to close your pouch so you can sort of roll your string around a couple of times and then the pouch won't open and if you cut the hole too big then just make sure you do more knots but that's pretty much it so then you have your pouch ready all i like to do after is Sometimes the plastic can um, have quite sharp corners and because it's quite thick um, it can be a little bit, um, you know, sharp, 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 sharp sometimes. I like to cut them around and it also makes it look a lot nicer. But it depends what you like. And then once that's cut, then the patch is finished. There you go. And you pull it from the back, roll it once, roll it twice. I probably my string is probably a little bit too short. Yours will be a little bit longer. Um, but there you go.